Hey, okay, before I forget, uh, I want to say a couple things here real quick. First of all, uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Baysy, or Batesy, I'm not sure you pronounce it, sorry buddy. Um, for he's been a real big help in me doing these commentaries. Uh, I, I couldn't do some of these without him uh, for various reasons. So thanks to him, and he is an absolute trooper. He's been uploading all kinds of videos on if you if you don't need the commentary or even if you want to watch videos without it, uh, go to YouTube.com/slash John747. Okay, and he's been he uploads like all kinds of crap there. Uh, and he has a, <coughs> that, that's a, one of those director accounts that can upload large files too, so uh, it's good to watch whole games uh, without being split up on his account there. So if you're ever missing something I don't upload, which is a lot, um, you can go there. He's just an absolute trooper. Uh, getting all kinds of games on the internet for people to watch, which is great. Um, anyways, <coughs> the other thing I was going to mention is, uh, uh, uh Oh yeah, I forgot for a second there. So uh, uh, there's a tournament apparently. Uh, sc.gosugamers.net. If you want to join into a Blue Wars tournament. Although honestly, dude, uh, mentioning it on Team Liquid is going to get you about a hundred times more publicity than me mentioning it, but might as well. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, SCVs mining minerals. Still mining minerals. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the second match of this tiebreaker set. Uh, this is the second tiebreaker set um, for Group B for the OSL. And um, in the first set, it was supposed to break the tie, and it, everyone came out 1 1 1 1 1 1. So everyone came out even, so they have to do another tiebreaker set now. And uh, in the first game of that, um, Huesen beat Iris. And um, so basically, this is Huesen versus July Zerg now. And if Huesen beats July Zerg, then he will clinch that uh, spot and he will be advancing uh, to the round of eight in the OSL. And uh, so really big uh, game here, a lot on the line. And um, the thing is though is um, if, um, sorry, if July Zerg wins, then it will go to a uh, third match between July and Iris, and then if July wins that, he, he goes on, or if Iris wins, then it goes to another tiebreaker, so it's a really freaking weird system. I, Diggity says that he doesn't like it. I, I'm kind of growing not to like it either, because it's just kind of convoluted, the way that the OSL um, system works. Um, <coughs> the MSL is a little bit different, you can have the, little, the winner's match and the loser match and all that. Um, in any case, uh, so yeah, Huesen played really, really well against Iris, so um, it's going to be a challenge, honestly, for Julizer to pull this off here. Uh, but in the past, first of all, in their grouping, uh, in the original grouping, Julizer did beat Huesen. Um, in the last um, uh, tiebreaker set, um, Huesen beat Julizer, so, you know, it's really anyone's game here. Wayson getting a, his uh, command center up pretty early. This is um, one of those maps where there's an expansion behind your base. Uh, this is Katrina, by the way. Uh, so you can build behind your base, and, and it's really easy to protect. Uh, so you see almost always players doing that, unless they're doing some kind of a crazy rush. And uh, <laughs> the SCP got trapped behind the supply depot, so he's killing it off to uh, keep the Psy there. It's a little unfortunate on his part. Um, anyway. So, uh, Wayson going for a um, couple, couple barracks here. Pretty standard so far. We've seen, we've seen some Terrans doing crazy ass things against Zerg players lately. Um, and uh, <coughs> so, it's actually, I mean, it's worth noting that he's doing something standard. And here we see, wow, Wayson actually getting in a scout SCV there. Uh, he's going to get to the end there. It looks like Julizer was trying to kind of hide his tech by putting his lair at his uh, second base there at the top. Uh, in the meantime, though, Huesen, uh not really blocking his door off anymore. He figures he has enough Marines now that he can uh, uh, kind of push out there. And uh, July is sending a Ling in there to seize those Marines, so he's going to start putting down some Tunga colonies. Uh, it looks like he's sending out a drone here. Probably going to try and set up a third uh, base somewhere uh, sort of hidden. Uh, is what I'm expecting here. He also, no, he, I was gonna say he also has that base that's kind of right next to his two bases on the outside, but uh, he's, he's passed by that and he's continuing on, so um, that Ling just kind of chasing around that, that, um, 
<coughs> SCV there. SCV is going to scout that Spire uh, before he gets chased back the other way again. And uh, Jalizerg uh, kind of needs to put down, he's got that colony down. He needs to get that other sunk up though before these Marines come in. Uh, it's going to be difficult, but uh, those Marines will probably be able to take out that one sunken colony. So he is getting another sunken colony. He has a couple links there. He's getting a third colony down, so Jalizer is going to be able to hold that off pretty easily. Uh, Huesin, though, uh, in the meantime, getting that engineering bay up, getting that academy up. <clears throat> so, yeah, it looks like he was just kind of putting some early pressure on. He wasn't really... He didn't really mean it. Um, he wasn't really going for that, but but it, it's good for July to have those sunks down anyways, because in the long run, uh, Huesin is going to be going and, and attacking him there, so it'll be good to have that line as a first defense, um, and, you know, for whenever if Huesin pushes out with some medic marines before too long, and, uh, but it's probably not going to work because usually that you have to push out with those medic marines before the, um, before the Zerg gets those mutilists, and July has gotten quite, a pretty quick Spire. The Spire's going to come in any second now, uh, and uh, he's going to have mutilists out relatively quickly, so so really Huesin needs to actually, yeah, he has got that Spire in now. Huesin needs to start putting up some damn turrets, uh, and uh, he needs to, uh, really, he's actually going to be kind of caught here with his forces uh, out, some of his forces, a little squad heading out towards um, Jalizerg's base, those are going to be owned by the Mutalisks uh, and some Lynx pretty easily. And in the meantime, he doesn't really have a lot of uh, forces in his... Actually, he does have a lot of Marines there, and Jalizerg does not have those Mutalisks out yet, so he's kind of sending out drones to distract here. The Mutalisks pop just in time. He's able to send those in, and uh, wow, brilliant. Four Mutalisks coming in at the perfect time, and the rest joining in as well. Um, Jalizer lost a lot of drones there, though, so that was that was actually a pretty big attack. Uh, even though um, even though Huesin did didn't really break through there at all, uh, July lost a lot of drones, so that could be a big deal. He does have a lot of hatcheries out, so it might not. Uh, but in the meantime, Huesin is that was distracting enough, long enough for him to get a lot of turrets up. So that was that was a good move on his part to get those turrets up. He's uh, probably going to be able to hold off these mutilists pretty well, judging on by the defense that he has up at the moment. Um, but, uh, you know, July Zerg has been known to dance his Mutalisks in and out of, um, turret fire pretty well. He's taking some pot shots to that engineering bay there, and, uh, some more at the Marines. And, uh, Wayson, uh, I'm not sure why he just fell back there. Wow, so July Zerg picking off the engineering bay, and, uh, Wayson can no longer make turrets. That is absolutely huge that he... He just sat there and let July Zerg um, pick off his engineering bay. That was crazy. Maybe he was trying to wait for the uh, upgrade. He might have been trying to wait for a level 1 upgrade to come in. But no, the academy is going down now. And what is Wayson doing? He's not attacking those mutilists at all. And uh, July Zerg picks off, oh my gosh, picks off uh, Wayson's academy. That was absolutely huge. Wayson can no longer research range upgrade. He has stims already, but uh, he can't produce medics. He can't produce fire bats right now if Jalizer goes to Lings. And Jalizer just absolutely dancing around and picking off those marines there. What he needs to do is pick off those medics, honestly, because then uh, Wayson won't be able to make any more medics. But I, really, I mean, killing off SCVs is a, is a good thing to do, too. And wow, Wayson just absolutely... <laughs> Getting his forces slaughtered here. July Zerg now, he says, fuck getting more drones. I've got Huesin on the back foot. I'm going to press this home. Uh, he's got no mineral, nothing mining in his main, but he's got more Mutalists coming in now. And Huesin trying to mount a force at his door here. It's not going to work. Ling's coming in. He doesn't have any fire bats to deal with those Ling's. He's trying to get a new academy up, but uh, Huesin, July Zerg chasing down those, those Marines with his... Uh, with his Mutalist there, now he's just got so many forces in Wayson's base, oh my god, Wayson is going to lose this game, and uh, July Zerg just kind of going around and just raping everything uh, with his forces, and there's not really anything Wayson can do about it at this point. Um, he does have the academy up now, but uh, it really doesn't matter, because uh, he's got like no forces on the ground, there are Lings all up in his base, uh, this would be appropriate time for uh, Wayson to say, I'm in your base killing your dudes. Um, to use the popular meme, and yeah, uh, so Hoist and GG's, so it will go to a third game, and July Zerg will beat, will, not beat, I don't know, I haven't honestly seen the game yet, so that wasn't a spoiler, July Zerg will face, um, Iris, and, um, yeah, if he wins, he takes the spot, and if he doesn't, then it goes to another tiebreaker.